Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and on Tuesday you guys saw me make a cute little teacup that you can add treats into and this is another little teacup but this is actually a card and it's an easel card from Lori Whitlock. So let's get started on this card. First thing is I have my pattern paper here and I did add it to some thicker cardstock on the back of it, so I glued the two pieces together. Because this is that really thin, I wouldn't even call this cardstock, I would just call it paper. And it is sold in the cardstock section at Michael's, but I really like the pattern, so that's why I just made this a little bit stronger. And I didn't need to make this one stronger, because it's going to be glued right onto here. So let's glue this on first, this little brad here are the ones that I am selling at ReadySitStamp.com. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this here. I'm out of my tape, so I'll just use glue for now. And this is that Scotch Quick, quick Dry Glue that I got at Michael's. So I'm just going to adhere this down, press it good, like that. And I've gone ahead and folded on the score lines here. So now what I'm going to do is get a little bit more glue down on here. And I'm going to glue like the little, this would be the little saucer plate down. And that's why I didn't add a backing onto this one. I'll explain that in just a second why I added it to the other one. This one was going directly onto this cardstock here, so I knew it would make it nice and thick. So I didn't necessarily worry about that one. I'm going to get a little bit of mounting foam here cut pretty generous size and then cut that down into two pieces one here and then one here peel those back and we're gonna add our little teacup onto there and the reason why I needed this thicker is because the teacup doesn't get all the way adhered because it needs to sit upright on your card so that's the reason why I needed to make it thicker you'll see what I mean here in just a second so you'll see that the teacup is only adhered on this bottom part. So if I had it flimsy, it would just kind of not be as sturdy as I would like it. So I wanted to make sure and make it nice and sturdy. So there's that. And I want to continue to decorate this. So I'm going to get my little stamp set. This is from Cards TV, and it is called Brew Ha Ha. And I'm stamping the sentiment that says, My cup runneth over. I did notice I got a little bit of ink on here. So I am just going to press down right here. I kind of like it off center just a little bit. So you just press firmly, lift up. I love that stamp set because it really does, well, all the Cards TV's stamps are really nice and you get nice clean images with them. So here is some flowers that I'm going to add to my card as well. I'm going to add three. I like to add things in three. So I'm going to put that one right here. Then I'm going to get one more flower and put that over on this side. And then I'll get one at the very top here. And I'll kind of tuck that in, press that down. So this is coming together so quickly. Isn't that so cute, this little card? I love it. So this is my completed card, and I have a cute little story that goes with it. So I ran into a local tea shop that just opened here in my hometown, and my grandmother's coming from England, and of course she loves tea, and I asked the lady if she served scones, and she said no, but she said if you let me know, because she said since your grandmother's coming in from England, if you let me know, um, I will make some scones just for you too and you can have a little tea party. So I was making this for her to fill it with these little Lindor chocolates and then this little card here just to say, you know, thank you for doing that. I think that's so sweet that she offered that and, um, you know, she just went above and beyond and out of her way to do something so sweet. So I just wanted to say thank you in a, in a small way just to say thank you so much. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these. And I'll have a picture at the end. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.